Hi there, I'm Chef Steven, and today we'll be creating some Indigenous-inspired recipes for National Indigenous Peoples Day. A swell, kalala toski, kalita kwa chawako, a quails kwa So, good day, my name is Carol. I am from Chawako First Nations, where I am one of the elders that resides there. And today I am here with Chef Steven, and we're going to try some indigenous inspired food. I am so excited. Today we'll be making a salmon salad sandwich with zucchini relish, okay. fresh baked bannock, and a hot three sister soup. Sounds delicious. So our first thing we're doing is mixing in our baking powder with our flour. And then we've got nice kosher salt here. Oh, wow. And the next thing I'm going to do is mix in our butter. Oh my. And what we're looking for here is to squish the cold butter into the flour mm -hmm. so that we create a, almost like a shaggy bread. What is it that prompted you to be doing an Indigenous-based recipe? Well, at Fraser Health, we're trying to focus on food as healing. Yes. And we're trying to reach out to more diverse cultures, mm -hmm. and we're trying to really make it comfortable and a safe space for everybody. Right on. And it's so appropriate because at most of our gatherings, there's bannock and there's fish. Now that the bannock is resting, we'll start working on our three sister soup. Okay, I'll help you with that. And you call it three sisters soup. So what is, what do you mean by three sisters? So the three sisters, from my research, are corn, mm -hmm. squash, and beans. Oh, okay. And in Indigenous cooking, the corn stalks grow up tall, the beans will wrap around the stalk and grow up the corn, and the squash lays cover on the ground keeping insects and weeds away to help all three of them grow. This is going to be a sage and thyme broth soup. Oh, okay. So we, we picked real earthy um, flavorful spices to go with these great vegetables. And so it's awesome that you're using sage because we use sage as a, a remedy for cough and colds and sore throats and it's also one of our spiritual healing medicines. So kudos! <laughs> We start with just a little bit of canola oil, carrots, okay. onions, and celery okay. to our hot oil. Okay. And we'll give that a nice saute. And then next, we're gonna add our thyme, sage, and a bay leaf. Oh, and we're gonna nice. start sauteing that to release all the flavors. The next thing we'll add is some garlic, our corn, okay. and our squash, some stewed tomatoes, and some navy beans. This looks like it's going to be one very hearty soup. So next, our bannock is ready. So All we've right. got to roll it out ready for baking. So you'll see by letting the bannock rest, it it's really actually has. gotten quite a bit puffier and soft. important part is to dock the bread and what this does is prevents it from rising just in the middle but now it'll rise more evenly throughout the whole bread. I like this. Now we're ready to bake. <laughs> I've got a nice fresh steelhead salmon from Albion Fisheries. Oh. So this is locally caught sustainable seafood. Mm -hmm. The first thing we'll be doing is adding my key ingredient which is called um, rad relish. So this is a zucchini relish from up in the Okanagan. Uh -huh. It is an indigenous company that has produced this for 70 years. And then next we're going to put in mayonnaise okay. and we'll mix it all together. 
The next we're gonna put in a little bit of lemon juice and then we just put in a little bit of Dijon mustard for a little spice. Spicy, all right. Goodness. Here's our fresh baked banana. That looks delicious. So we'll cut some nice sandwiches. Mm. It actually puffed up quite a bit too. Yes. That's perfect. It's like I am so excited to see this because there's so many times that our people are in the hospital and they don't like the food. They refuse to eat it and we end up bringing food from home. So tell me more about what got you going with this? What I'm trying to accomplish here is to bring in traditional foods mm -hmm. so that when someone is sick, they're not here on their best day, they're able to eat something that is going to create a memory. Yes. It's going to promote healing. And, and that's really what we want in hospitals is we want people to be well. We want them to get well. Mm -hmm. So these sorts of foods are really going to help us achieve that. I'm actually excited. I can't wait to try it. And I can imagine that when some of my, if any of my family, heaven forbid that they have to, but if they go into the hospital, they'll be, what? There's Bannock? All right, bring it on. If I was a patient in the hospital or if my loved one was in the hospital, would we be able to ask for this? We're planning on having this on our hospital menu through the majority of our hospitals on June 21st. Okay. Will that be in the cafeteria or actually? It'll be in room service oh, wow. uh, as well as our long term care facilities. Right on. Good to know. So we're going to try the sandwich. Let's do it. All right. And um, I'm thinking that I'm going to wear this if I have it this way. So I'm going to have it the way I usually do. I love to do spread it on there. <laughs> and I'll take a nice big mm. bite. Very good. Very, very good. Thank you. I love it. Why don't we try the soup? Let's try the soup. Okay. Being mindful that I'm on camera, I'm going to try to do this gracefully. Oh my goodness. It is delicious. I can taste the thyme, I can taste the sage, and the squash, the beans, everything is perfect. Wonderful. I'm glad you're liking it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really good. It tastes like home. <laughs> <laughs>